So today we are going to see regarding the Anna method for solution of the non-linear system equation. So how to do so? I have already given you a YouTube link. Uh, you will find the detailed explanation of the procedure. I am going to briefly explain to you how you can solve it. See, uh, in this type of problem, what will happen is that you will be given a system, you will have a system of equation. As for example, this. So you will be have a system of equation and you will be either given a initial point or you will be uh, executing the initial point. Now what is the purpose of this? This is a nonlinear equation, isn't it? How can we say so? Because of this square term. So these are nonlinear equations. So this is a nonlinear equation. There are two equations. I have two variables x and y, and I need to find out what is the two value of x and y. Now in such kind of in this method, what happens is that what we have two equations, as you can see, we have two equations. Now, what is the final solution? The final solution is this x. This x is my final solution. So, how can I find out this x? I will be having the initial value, I will take the initial value. I can either take it to be 0 or some value which is given to me by the system or the, by the uh, user. And then I will be adding with that a variable h. So, if I with x, I already know x0, I add along with x0 h, then I will get my true value which is x. Similarly, in y, in order to calculate true value of y, I will be having the approximate value of y0 and with that I will be adding the value of k. So in order to find out my value, what do I need? I need h and k. So once I know h and I know k, I can easily find out what is my true x value and true y value. Now, how to find out this h and x? Sorry, h and k. For that, in this method, we are using the Anna method. In this Anna method, we are using the Taylor series expansion. So, with the help of this Taylor series expansion, we have the formula of h and the formula for k. The formula for h is minus capital B x by b and k is minus g y by k. So, first you need to know what are these these values. What are these values? So D is your this matrix. D is your okay. It's very easy. I'm going to show you what are these values in presence. Dx is this and dy is this. So just write them down. I'm going to show you with another example. So what is your purpose? Your purpose is you need to find out this h and you need to find out this k. How can you do so? By using these formulas, these two formulas. Now for them to be for you to calculate the values, you will be needing this cost. Now let me see an example. Take the example and show it to you. So I have this equation, isn't it? 4x square plus twice x square plus y square is equal to 30. And I have another equation. This is my first equation. This is my second equation. So let me represent it with f and g. So f x y is my first equation. So this is my first equation. And g x y is my second equation, as you can see. So initially what I am going to do is, I am going to differentiate it with respect to x only. So it, that's the reason I have written it f of x. So if I differentiate this equation with x only, then what will happen? 4x square will become 8x, 2xy will become 2y, and y square will become 0, x is become 0. Isn't it? What I am doing is that I am differentiating my f with respect to, or partial differentiating it with respect to. Uh, function f with respect to x. So it's a partial differentiation. That's the reason we got this. Similarly, I am partially differentiating this equation with the res respect to y. So what will happen then in the first case this will become 0. Over here it will repeat 2 of x. Over here it will be 2 of y and this will become 0. Similarly, I will be doing it for my y also. This for y also I will be calculating partial differentiation. As you can see, 2x square, if I uh, partially differentiate with the x, it becomes 4 of x, it becomes 3 of y, it becomes 0, it becomes 0. And if I partially differentiate with y, it becomes 0, this becomes 3 of y, and um, so it becomes 3 of x, and this becomes y cells. So these are my f of x, y, and z. In the 
in this formula this values is f of x this f of y this g of x this g of y this f of y this g of y this f of x this g of x these are nothing but this partial differentiations which we can easily find out now once you know this partial differentiation suppose i know my f of x the value of this f of x at x naught which will be either given to me or which i will be assuming i am going to put those and i will find out suppose in this case if i want to find out what is f of x at x naught basically this this value f of x this f of x x x naught so what will i do i will be putting this minus 3 and 2 in this equation f of x similarly if i want to find out what is my f of y at x naught for this for for this f of y at x naught then what will i do in this particular equation f of y i'm going to put this x and y to be these two values that's it just put them find the determinant you will find out your d similarly over here what is f of naught what is g of naught just put the values and you will find out this what is your f of naught f of naught is basically your this original equation in this original equation just put the values of x and y as your initial values and you will be finding your f of naught okay this is the full proof let me show to you what is this simple f of not the simple f of not is in this original equation i will be putting my x not and y not value so that is my f of not what is f of x at x not it is partial differentiation of this equation with respect to x and then i am going to put my x not and y not value that's it just put those values you will have the value you can easily calculate the determinant and find out what is your d you can find out what is your dx you can find out what is your dy so once you know dx dy you can easily calculate your h and you can calculate your k so if you know your h and k then what is your x your x is nothing but the initial value which you have selected x naught plus h and what is your y y is your y naught plus your k. that's it you can easily find out so this with the help of this you will find out your first approximation value you will be repeating the same procedure again but now in place of x naught and y naught you will be putting your x1 and y1 you don't have to again find out the differentiation just put the values and find out this and then you can find out your x1 in this way you will be repeating this you will be doing it in, in till you get your uh, desired accuracy in this kind of problems you will get your accuracy in two or three steps only so these are easy to be done i hope you have understood if not then please go through the link which i have provided to you go there also you will find an example even if you have any doubt you can always whatsapp me or send me the message in your uh, google classroom form isn't it so i hope you have understood it let's revise it once more in such kind of equation, we will be having our two nonlinear equations. How do I know it is a nonlinear equation? Because of this, then it is a nonlinearity. Two equations will be either given an initial value or you can select initial value. In order to solve them, what is the procedure? The procedure is very simple. If I want to find out the exact value, if I want to find out the exact value which is this x not m y not x and y then what do i need to find out i need to find out this h and k in order to find out this h and k i will be using the taylor series expression and i found out this equation that my h is this and my k is this what are and what is this dx d dy d these are these equations how to find out them very simple what is f of not f of not is a basic first equation on the first equation you will be putting your x not y not value what is g of not in your second equation, you will be putting your x0 to y0 value. What is your f of x at x0? This is basically first differ, the partial differentiation of your f of x and then putting your x0 to y0 value. So go through this example, you will easily understand. Do it yourself.
only then it will feel more clear to you.